we are still in the process of uh, you know validating some of these targets so uh, uh, what I'm assuming is that as we're going to have more and more therapies that are going to be based the selection is going to be based on um, the presence of the genes I think that we need to incorporate into our clinical practice these next gen sec sick uh, platforms uh, it doesn't make any sense any longer I don't think to just check for ESG1 mutations or her amplification but rather to look at comprehensive panels of genes. So this will change, in th I think, in full the way we look at breast tissue. And we'll also open an, uh, opportunities for, n for, for new ways to detect these abnormalities. So for example, we are very excited by the prospect of developing liquid biopsies, the capacity to look for these DNA alterations in the blood. So that would be a non-invasive approach that we could interrogate at any time mm, that we think it's important.